Hello, in this video we'll be going over the solution to the question block game from the 2016 December Bronze Contest. If you haven't already, I recommend you watch the previous video where um, I provided a hint before looking at the solution. Uh, but if you haven't already, I guess we can just jump right into it. Um, yeah, so in the previous video we talked about simplifying it and taking it, taking looking at the problem as just one board. And so let's expand this to include um, all the, the boards. So now we don't only have fox and box, but we also have dog and cat. So let's say we, from fox and box, we obtain that, um, I guess we can do it here. Uh, fox, F, we need one. O, we need one, X, we need one, and B, we need one. Um, yeah, so this is what we have. Oh, okay. This is what we have for the first one. And the second one, we have that D, we need one, O, we need one, G, we need one, C, we need one. A we need one, and T we need one. And so you get these by taking the max of each index for the letter arrays for each word. And if you don't know what that means, I recommend you watch the previous video. Um, then we have, okay, now, now we also have to deal with car and bus. So for car and bus, we need one C, one A, one R, one B, one U, and one C, S. And yeah. So now we have like um, the number of letters needed for each board. So what are we going to do once we ha we've calculated this? Well, um, like, if you think about it, this is only enough to cover one of the boards. So if we only had one F, one O, one X, one B, we can cover anything that comes up here, but uh, we can't spell anything else here because we've used all the letters and we don't have the letters needed. And so since each of these, I guess, arrays have the minimum needed or sorry, the, the minimum needed for each one, that means we can't like have any less in the, in the sense that um, if we have like O here, we can spell both fox and box, but we can't spell dog because we've used the O in this one. And so we need another O. Um, but in the case of the letter D, um, we only need one D because only this I guess board has a D. And so um, if you think about it, what that basically requires us to do is just add up at each index, add up the number of, I guess, um, or counts we have at each index. Um, and that's going to give us the answer. So in this case, we'll have like, Actually, make the font a little bit smaller. So we have like zero, one, two, three, four, Sorry, that took a little bit early. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is like just add up um, the counts we require. Excuse me, from each um, board, and then onto this final answer array. So 
in the first board we have we need one f. Uh, I guess I actually should have done it alphabetically. Uh, yeah, let's just do it a little bit differently. Um, so we need one f one o one x one b, and then we need one d and o. We have to add it. Uh, one g one c. Uh, one A and one T, and then for the last one we need another C, and we need another A. We need an R. We need a B, which we add on. We need a U, and we need an S. So this is going to be the answer. So obviously, what I have here is like written alphabetically, but it's going to look something like this where it's uh, by numerical index. And then you're just gonna be, for each index, you're just gonna be adding up. So let's say um, it was a little bit differently. We had like an A in the first board, two A's in the second board, and an A in the third board. Then uh, we would first add at index zero, we'd add one from the first. And then when we go to the second board, we add two more, so it becomes three. And then for the fourth, third one, we add one more, so it becomes four. So we're just basically following this process of, you know, um, adding up the counts from each board. So I guess if I write this out, uh, can I type? So one, find max counts for each board. And so this means like finding, uh, these ones. And then two, uh, add each max count to the answer. And yeah, that's basically it. So that's the full solution. And the array you have at the end is going to be um, your final answer. You can just print that out. Um, yeah. So that is the um, solution to the block game. Um, in the next video, I'll go over the implementation, but I recommend you give it a shot um, yourself before watching that. So yeah, thank you for watching.